in 2003, Daegu University had Yang Tae Yong won four gold medals in uh, individual and team. He was one of the big stars back then in 03, Yang Tae Yong. We are nearly ready. It's going to be none other than Denis Abliazin to get the ball rolling. There he goes. Five minutes ago, he was on the medal podium. Now it's business as usual as he gets down to the vault. Great vault, double pike Sukahara, beautiful form in the air, a step on the landing, but it's a good start for Abliazin. Remember there are two vaults. Big question now, how's he going to mix it up for the second? We will get to see the score for the first. We know what the uh, D is already, that should be uh, posted there. Yes, it's a six start score, top draw difficulty but he needs this second vault. Crowd really getting behind the man here. He has in a couple of medals, in fact, in London, didn't he? One in uh, this vault, also on the floor. He won the bronze. 15-3-2-5. It's a good score, just seven tenths deduction from the E-Jury. Here he goes, number two, again, six start score. Great vault. The step back was quite a big one. I wonder how much he'll be deducted for that, but... It was, but a handspring with two and a half twists packed into that straight front somersault. See that one twist, two, and yep, the half twist as well. Pretty big step back. Yeah, lose a few tens for that. These are the twists you were talking about. Two, two and a half. Yep, absolutely. Rightly. So Dennis Abliazin took a silver on vault, of course, in London, 2012, and that's why. Quality gymnast. This is third final. Seen him on floor and rings. This is his uh, university had over. Busy few days for him, but that's uh, the last we'll see of uh, Dennis Nebriasi next year. A few people promoting those next university. Right. It's tough on Fisu, who are the organizers of uh, the university, because yeah, this is almost Olympic size 10,000 odd athletes, 27 sports. They're every two years, not every four years. So I have visited the, the FISA office uh, in Belgium, and they're a busy bunch of people, I must say. And there's a, the Winter University as well going on. And Dennis Ebliazin, 15.35 is his average, remember, from those two. But two consistent vaults, Paul. Big score. Going to take some beating, but the next gymnast can do just that if he hits it right. Olympic champion on this piece, Yang Hak Sion. What is he going to show us today? Well, 6.4 posted. This is it. This is his vault. Massive start of world gymnastics, and he's going to bring out his uh, A game. So these Universiad, can he deliver 6.4? Oh, incredible. Handspring, triple twist, stuck to the floor. The only person to do that. An immense vault from Yang. Thanks, Young Yang. Just looking at some of the fans around me. They can't quite believe what they're seeing. That uh, hasn't been produced too many times in the history of gymnastics. Look at this. He's the only person to do it. Count the twist. One, two, three. Nails the landing. Yeah, that landing Look was at the height. Perfect. Make it look easy. Tiniest of little steps forward. Just count those. One, two, three. <laughs> And the half, brilliant work. He's a phenomenon, he really is. Hak Xiong Yang. He'll do it again. He's obviously got a good score for that. I'll wait to see what it is, but takes the pressure off slightly. He knows he's got one good score under his belt. South Korean fans enjoying this. Remember, we're talking about an average score, so this second vault is all important. Have South Korea on uh, Wednesday making the long journey. Interviewed by Korean press, he said he didn't know who he was going to be vaulting against. 
It's a nice approach, but he wants to compete against the best. And look at that. My word. 15.975. It's a huge score. Less than five tenths deduction and well deserved. What a monster vault. Second vault, a six start score. It's likely to be another triple twist, I think. This time from a Sukahara entry. Let's enjoy this. Oh, well, didn't well. move a muscle on that landing. The master at work. Superb vault. And even, <laughs> even a Bliazin, who's got nothing to say. Receiving what a warm say? applause from a Bliazin as well. That's the acknowledged master of vault. Just talk us through this, what he's doing. Quarter turn onto the horse. Three twists, sticking the landing. Rumour has it that he can add an extra half twist onto this as well. Three and a half twists. But the right decision tactically, playing safe, if you can call it safe, to land that vault. Not many people in the world doing that. Landing. It looked like he was just stepping off the first step of a ladder there. It made it look so easy. Not a movement in those feet. Well, they can bring the first part of the podium on, I think. Rank one, 15787 is his average. And he deserves that smile. That's brilliant work. Great difficulty performed with exceptional quality. The, the gold medal performance already. Breathtaking stuff. His compatriot Kim Hee Hon has to follow that. Let's see if it motivates him to another good performance. A six start score. He's showing a good vault here. Oh, a handspring, two and a half twist, but you can see he's landed off the mat. Both feet out, three tenths for that deduction, plus the hop. He was well, well out, wasn't he? Where, at what point did that go wrong? The angle wrong, going into the, the table or coming right off it? Yes, I think slightly off, pushing from one arm a little bit more than the other to initiate the twist, and just having to compensate by jumping out to the side. No real disaster. There'll be some deductions there, but it's still an excellent vault. Must be tough when you're in the shadow of uh, Haxion Yang. In a way, I guess it's a bit like Raiho Kato, isn't it? With Kato, with uh, with Shimura, when you're in the same country and training and competing, he's a great gymnast in his own right. It uh, can be a great. But nevertheless, you're you're always in the shadow of uh, the great man, uh, yes. Hak Seung Yang. It can be a great uh, motivation too. Remember, to have one gymnast in your country at such a high level spurs many others on to try to to beat that person. Everybody needs competition. Every country needs competition within its ranks, and Korea certainly have some excellent vaulters. They're out in force, the South Korean fans. A lot of them here as part of delegations because uh, they are promoting those uh, next university in two years' time. 14.825 for that first vault. Realistically, well, even getting above Ablazin will be tough now because remember, Ablazin's average was 15.350. Oh, Yachenko with two and a half twists. Very nice vault, 5.6 start score. Korean gymnast favoring, the, favoring these twisting vaults. Very technical elements. Backwards entry onto the horse, blocking, twisting, wrapping in, and then squaring up for that landing. So, the weight. Just uh, for a second now, we have a second. What, can you compare the two vaults we've seen from uh, Hak Seung Yang to those in the Olympics where his score was uh, considerably higher, 16.533? Have you seen they've changed uh, the code since then? I think, right? Oh, yes. The right the, all of the scores have been lowered by exactly one mark. So you just knock a, a, a whole point off of the Olympic scores to get some sort of a comparison. But that was uh, this vault that he's performed in Kazan was absolutely superb. Because if you take a mark off that Olympic score, which was 16.533, that makes it 15.533. Yes. Is, is it fair to say this was a better vault? Than oh, I'd say so. Yeah. Tremendous performance. He's actually improved on the execution of those vaults, I would say. It's really interesting. His uh, e score in London was uh, 9.6 for the second vault. 9.06 for the first. And, uh, 
Well, you can still deliver at the very top level. But there are some uh, other gymnasts here. Tuha, who was a former European uh, champion. Yes, 2010, Birmingham, European champion on vault. A great vaulter in his own right. 14.8 is the medal position. Good vault. Tsukahara with two and a half twists. Small step on the landing. But he can twist well. He's got great form in the air. Flying fin, too hard. Back to his mark. Just to explain to our viewers that the table is slightly higher for the men than for the women. Yes, 135 centimetres off the ground. Women 10 centimetres lower. You remember the competition in uh, the Sydney Olympic Games where that was that terrible mistake in the women's final actually set the horse five centimeters too low and half of the final finalists went on a lower horse the great um, Flavius Coxie is the defending champion here not here the Hungarian the Romanian excuse me 14 8 7 5 so that's, uh, that's competitive Paul oh yes good score and too hard from a 5.6 start score Ready for his second bolt. Five six is posted. Oh, did he land feet first? Yes, he did, but he's going to take a at least a mark deduction for that. Never right from the top. Handspring with double twist. Tough on uh, two hut. He regrets. Just what point uh, did they go wrong? Just not enough forward ro rotation. Heels have to drive so strongly from the springboard. Didn't get them over his head enough. He needs to get them right underneath him for the landing. Such a tough discipline. I'm wondering what are the typical injuries that, that vaulters get? Because they're using all but the joints they're using. That their wrists, the ankles. Is there a, an injury that you really, really look out for? Well, it's, trying to avoid it's, on the vault. It's leg injuries, knees and ankles. You have to be very, very careful. Packing in all those twists. If you're still twisting when you contact the apparatus, the floor for the landing, you can just imagine what can happen. Yang does it right. He finishes all his twists in the air, unwinds and lands perfectly square to avoid any possible injury. And 14.35 for the fin. Yeah, definitely not a discipline uh, to try at home. Not for the faint heart, it is the vault, but it's spectacular. One of the crowd favourites. And uh, next up, well, here is a man who can challenge, certainly, for a medal. Igor Radivilov, who was uh, the other medalist in London. That's what he can do. Yes. Posting six for. Oh, yes. I don't think he's got a chance for the gold, but he could jump in front of a Blyazin. An excellent vaulter, Radivilov. champion this year on the, the rings beautiful vol Dragulescu kicked out from the double front somersault with a half turn good start to the Ukrainian interesting right. running style very tight arm yeah, movements. straight arms everybody has their own little style but Beautiful kick out of that somersault, so high. Plenty of time to prepare, see the landing, bend the knees, soak up the shock. Is there an optimum speed when you're hitting that table? Does it really just depend on the gymnast? It has to be under control, but the faster you can run, the more energy you're going to create off that horse. These guys, superb athletes. Very strong musculature. Very fast runners. Radovilov, 15.225. Remember, Abliazin's average at 15.35, so we need to up that a bit. He'll be showing another six volt, I would have thought. And if he can nail that landing, he's in with a chance. Yep. Faces from Ukraine. sport as well so I'm sure just have, to have that slight worry going through hoping they get through it safely immense preparation in the 
live of again. The landing, but a big vault too. Double pike Sukahara. Great line in the air. Slightly more difficult exit. Step back was staying for no deviation. by Piotr Nikolajek in the Gdansk. 5.2 is the opening tariff there. Yeah, they, they, the D score was six. You called it absolutely right, Paul. Sugara with double twist. Not the same difficult difficulty, but safely landed. Well, landing on that. The double twist that Paul was talking about. It was still a step back, but I think it was quite as large a step as the first one. Not quite the difficulty, but he'll be happy to have competed in this esteemed company, I think. Yeah. Realistically, maybe fourth ahead of Kim, but those top through three. The top three in the world Yang, Abliazin, and Radivilov. Spectacle to be spectacled, uh, Yang. Yes, I know. It begs the question that means when he's going into that vault, he can't quite see what he's doing. Uh, Could well be. Uh, 14, 7 2 fire. That's just short of fourth place. Good score, nevertheless. Um, I'd like to know what the correction is on those glasses because I'm now I'm quite a worried man <laughs> if he's going into a vault. Here goes Kacherin yep. for Kazakhstan. Oh. oh, did he hit the feet first? I'm not sure about that. He attempted. A handspring double pike front, it didn't come off. Went for it, but not today. No handspring blocked, tried to keep his legs straight, had to wrap in. He knew there wasn't enough rotation there. Did he get enough height there, Paul? Didn't get enough block, just needed to really thrust a handspring double pike, an immensely difficult vault to do. To change his shape mid-air, it still wasn't enough to make a stable landing. Victor Kosher in. Uh, second Kazakh. Competed in Doha in the World Cup Series where he took a fourth place on this apparatus. The gold medalist is going to be the great man. Xiong Yang is uh, going to take home gold in his university at Inil. Hopefully for him and for South Korea, compete in those next games as defending champion. But we're going to give an eye Victor Koshin in 14-1-7-5. For that first vault. Two vaults, of course, for each uh, of these gymnasts. Safety round, two and a half twists. But we'll suffer from the first one. The wry smile. And it's going to be Yang Abliazen and Radi Vilov on the podium. Handshakes all around. There's been no surprise here. Although, was it a surprise, Paul, that he pulled out that uh, three and a half Sukahara? Well, yeah, it was the it was the forwards vault actually. The handspring with the triple twist that was uh, really worth seeing. He didn't do three and a half in uh, in his second vault. He just elected to do the supposedly safe one, triple twist. Still an immensely difficult vault, but 
the only exponent, as I say, in the world to do handspring triple twist forwards at the moment. And they both worked superbly well today. He's brought uh, South Korea's first gymnastics title, artistic gymnastics title, since 09. They didn't get one in 2011. 11. There you have it. That Go final living up to all expectations. Fantastic vaulting. Yeah, Radovil 15.237, Abliazim 15.350, and Yang 15.787. And that's with the new uh, code of points, of course. So you could almost add a point, I guess, Absolutely. to compare it to last year. And then you've got some huge. Uh, Scores there, and yet another medal for Russia. <laughs> it's just it, even when uh, they are in the, the company of greatness, Axion Yang, they're, they're still pick, picking up silvers and bronzes. We saw the same in uh, the rings. It's just a superb, superb four days for yes. Russian Federation. Thirteen gymnastic medals so far for Russia. <laughs> Fighting Korea is uh, the tagline for the next uh, Universiade. It's interesting to say that uh, last week, a major administrative uh, hurdle was passed to allow a joint team uh, at those next Universiades. So South and North Korea marching together. And that's really significant, isn't it? Because we, we know the tensions between these, those two nations. We won't go into it. But for them to have a, a joint team at the next Universiade is a really positive sign. And, it's going to be an emotional opening ceremony when that happens in South Korea. Yeah.